I want to share with you an experience I had in, um, in Ramat Pichemish. I was there for Shabbos. I was by the house of a friend of mine, Rachamim uh, Shaolov, and uh, some of my friends visiting from Kutzlarz. We all got together. And he asked me a question. We're going to Shul. He said, Rabbi Travis, I know you wrote some books on Tefillah, Praying with Joy. We're about to go to Davin. And he said to me, give me... Give me one minute of chizuk in tefillah. So I don't know. You know, sometimes you get a spark of um, a spark of uh, wisdom is thrown into your head. In Yiddish, it's called an einfall. That really means something falls into your head. So I told him like this. I told him, let's say someone would come up to you right now and give you a check for one hundred million dollars. One hundred million dollars. Yeah. Or not even come up to you. Let's say you were going to meet someone. You were, know, you were, you are a uh, raising money for uh, sick people or building or institution. And someone tells you, someone tells you, I'm going to give you one hundred million dollars. Yeah, I'm give you one hundred million dollars. Right? You would go with great enthusiasm to that meeting, right, to get a hundred million dollar check. I told this this uh, this Hashiva, um person, Rachamin. I said, "You're going right now to somebody who's offering you much, much more than a hundred million dollars. Hashem is offering you your life, your ability to breathe, your ability to see, your ability to walk. As we say every morning in Birkas Hashachar, right? Um, All these things Hashem is giving you much, much more than a hundred million dollars." And he's giving to you every single day, right? Imagine the incredible joy that we should have as we uh, prepare for this experience. But what happens? What happens is that we get it every single day. Every day, Baruch Hashem, we wake up and we can see and we can walk and we can um, we have clothing, right? All these things we get on a regular basis, so we get used to it. That's number one. Number two, it's hard for us to to internalize that we're being giving this. As gifts every single day. One of my very great uh, Rebbeim, Rabbi Ari Finkel, Roshiva of the Mirrors itself, said to me once, he said, if you don't say Birkas Hashachar or Kavani, you can't, you can't be happy, you can't understand how much good you have in your life. But you really realize, especially a person who, one, one time I was in America, I broke my ankle. For three months I was unconscious. And when I got onto crutches, I was walking. I was like, oh, I'm a chin gover. Prepares the steps of man. The incredible joy you know, <coughs> of being once again able to walk. It's such a wonderful experience to be able to walk, to be able to stand up, to be able to, to, to uh, see. All of these incredible experiences that we have, Hashem gives us to us daily as a present. So, Imagine the joy that we should have as we go to shul in the morning and we thank Hashem. We thank Hashem for this. And not just thank Him, we praise Him and we relish in that experience of life. Yeah? We relish the experience of life and we, we, we savor it. It's the, the, the sweet, sweet taste of life that we have in the opportunities. And especially for Zoyche to be here in the morning at the coastal of Moravi at dawn as the birds are chirping and um, people are coming towards uh, to the coastal to Davinates to be to be Poygish, literally to meet with the Shechina. The incredible opportunity that we have um, for this experience. So Hashem should give us the understanding and the perception and the wisdom to realize the great, great gifts that we have. The great, great gifts that we have every morning, and not to take them for granted, and not to think, well, I could see yesterday, and I could see the day before, and I could see the day before, so I could see today. It's the same thing that I've had every single day. But no, we should say these brachas every single day as if we're being given a check for $100 million and much more. If people, if somebody, Kasvashan, would lose his eyesight, or he would lose you know, other things, um, he would certainly be willing to get pay all the money in the world to get it back. Right? And Hashem gives it to us every single day for free. It's certainly um, 
we should express our gratitude constantly to Hashem for these incredible gifts that He gives us, gives us, and to do it passionately, to do it with vibrance and passion and joy and um, love of Hashem. We should have constant, constant love, expressing our love constantly of Hashem. And if we do that, Hashem will express it back, like any relationship. Right? If we have a loving relationship with Hashem, so Hashem will shed His love on us. It's such a wonderful experience to be around somebody who really, really loves you. And if the more love that we show for Hashem, the more love that He'll show for us. But, um, this is what Chazal tells us. This is like an experience of um, sale, of um, shade. When you put your hand out and get shade, so the shade is equal. Hashem should help us. Give us the to um, to understand this and to live it. Amen. Amen.